stuff. Tons of stuff that we buy, we use, and then we just cast off to oblivion. Ours is a throwaway society, all day, every day. I'm Alexandra Paul, and I'm here to talk about consumption. That's everything we use, then throw away, and how our system of excess and cast-offs is damaging our planet. Cars, stereos, money. I really, really like shopping. <laughs> My name is Sophia and I am 17 years old and I'm a senior this year. Uh, I enjoy dancing. I'm her sister, my name's Hannah. I enjoy dancing just like her. I just get a real high from it. My name is Matt and I'm 18 years old. I'm a senior in high school. In my spare time, I like to play football, volleyball, um, go out with my friends, uh, hang out, play video games. <laughs> my name is David. I'm 18. I'm a senior in high school. And on my free time, I like to hang out with friends and go to parties. And as much as I can, go to the mountain and snowboard. Football, it teaches like a sense of discipline, a sense of responsibility, and a sense of belonging. And I felt like my four years playing football, I kind of made a bond with the, my teammates that I, I know I'll never forget. Also, it's really a good release of aggression. You get carried away when you're shopping. You're at the store, you're with your friends, you're saying, Oh well, just who cares? Just get it, just get it. And they talk you into it. It's like, it's like a drug. You've got five bags in your hand, and you're just walking. And you're like, oh, I just shopped. You know, it, that was just great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think teens in the U.S. are, are pretty materialistic. They they want the the best clothes, the best shoes, the best cars. They think that that's what makes them cool and popular. If you don't have certain things, you're not going to be looked at the same way. A lot of people do uh, go and they look and they see what other people are wearing, what, what is cool to be wearing, and they're going to go out and buy the exact same thing. We've been in training all our lives to consume. All of us. We are the best trained, best equipped buyers and consumers in all of human history. Everybody, everybody wants some. I think that what makes someone popular, yeah, it could be, um, you know, what you've got, what you wear. We have a shoe fetish, definitely. Shoes. I think we get it from our mom. I mean, they're basically the same thing that comes back every season, but it's just a little bit different and a little bit nicer or a better color, and you think, ooh, I don't have that color yet. You know, I have to get it. I watch TV, the video awards, the music awards, you know, look what that star's wearing, or oh, she looks so cute, or he looks so cute, look at that, you know. I buy so much makeup, I have tons of it. Not even that I use all of it, but just the fact, because it's on TV. If there's a bottle that's, you know, been advertised in a commercial or I see it in a magazine or this model's wearing it or something like that, I'm probably going to be, I, I buy it. I would buy it. <laughs> I would buy it just because, you know, it's cool. My friend actually went to this university and I couldn't believe how superficial it was. Every month, the girls in the dorm would put receipts, you know, and post them right in front of their door. And so it would be like, who spent the most money this month? From all the stuff that I buy, I think I probably need about 20 to 25 percent of it. <laughs> I'm in heaven at the mall.
they buy everything. It's great. Actually, it's not so great. Every bit of stuff we buy has to come from somewhere. And that somewhere is the planet that we live on. Our Earth is an amazing place. It's beautiful. And our lives depend on it. Here are two important points. The Earth is never going to get any larger, and it only has so much to give. Yet the human population of Earth is 6 billion, and it keeps growing by about 80 million people every year. More people, there's more mouths to feed, more bodies to clothe. Pollution is getting really, really bad. Like, some days you can't even see the mountains, and that's horrible, because mountains are a beautiful thing. You should be able to see them. You should be able to breathe clean air, and just the overconsumption is really evident in all the smog and all the pollution that we do have. I think the American consumer, consumer society is, very, is a very selfish society. They're, it's based on what I want, what's good for me, and not what's good, on, what's good for my fellow man, what's good for the environment. For my generation, it's a bigger deal because I'm the one who's going to be around and my children are going to be around. The six billion we have right now is a lot of people. By the year 2050, the human population could double to 12 billion. And every new individual will need clothes to wear and food to eat and a place to live. But more than that, each person is going to have their own dreams that require a bigger and bigger share of the same pie. The numbers just don't compute. If every person alive today lived like we do, we would need three Earths to provide the required resources. This is Los Angeles. About seven million people live here. Every year, the world adds enough people to fill 12 new cities the size of Los Angeles. That's every single year. The countries adding the most people are in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. But the population of the United States is also increasing. And we impact the planet much more than all the other countries because we consume so much more. Overconsumption is hurting our planet and it's gonna affect our future a great deal. By the time it reaches some astronomically high number, like 10 or 12 billion, that humans will probably finally realize that there has been a mistake. We react more than prevent. We're, we're more apt to, to react to a situation than to prevent it because um, I don't think we can really sense the impact of something until it, affect, until it um, affects us.